Hello everybody. Welcome. Welcome to today's stream. Hope everybody's had a good Saturday. Good weekend so far. I am looking forward to playing some more games. And today we are going to be uh, starting with uh, Tiny Home Terrarium. A game about. Whoops. Crap. I spent forever trying to fix that and then I just accidentally clicked it. There we go. Um, we're going to make a little home. Hey, Jack. Hey, Cascabel. Hey, Melty. Hey, Riot. Hey, Paris. Thanks for the raid a while ago. <laughs> Just in time for uh, finishing your stream, I'm assuming. Hope it went well. I saw you were doing some kind of art trying to make a pizza, so I hope you had success with your pizza. Um... That was a chair. <laughs> you successfully printed vinyl stickers. Interesting. <laughs> you know who got a new chair? Hetzler got a new chair and is making <laughs> chair farting noises. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, jeez. Those are chair noises. Those are not farting noises. I don't know how loud. <laughs> We're not gonna listen to it too much. Water bottle noises. I don't know about water bottle noises. Okay, so this game uh, is. We're gonna be. Looks like we are tiny home terrarium. You are a member of the tiny folk. And uh, you just moved to a new neighborhood. You want to build up your new tiny home terrarium by filling it with shiny, pretty rocks. The aim of the game is to collect rocks for your tiny home terrarium. Along the way, you will meet new neighbors, learn where they live, and discover the best places to visit in this garden. Excuse me. What you will need is these instructions. So we've got um, the screen version. We're going to do a little bit of both. Um, I've got a jar. It's not a jam jar, but it's a jar. I thought this is a good jar. Six-sided die and some printed... We're going to use the printed rock pictures. I like the idea of collecting some rocks on a walk and uh, um, maybe doing this again later, but I also thought it might be fun to, you know, do some little bit of paper craft sort of deal here. You have a chair emote. That's exciting. Yeah, the new chair hype is very exciting, actually. <laughs> this chair is red and it looks very fast, so it makes creaky noises and it is very comfortable, I think. Yeah. I don't I like think it. I even sat in it. <laughs> I hear it's comfortable. Mm hmm. It's a speedrun chair. Okay, so, oh, we could make a map? Oh, uh, okay, well, we're gonna maybe do that. I need to find more paper. So, what are we gonna do? Who are you? Look at this. All these games, they start out really challenging. Uh, what is our name? What did we decide to move? And what is one thing um, you decided to bring with you? So, I'll, I'll start cutting these out while I... Uh, Reflect on. I mean, I feel like I need a good name because I'm a tiny folk. Like a little gnome kind of. That's like a space gnome kind of deal. Cut along dotted lines. My name is. Join it. Uh, 
a nice flower. Jor no, that's Jor. Jornet. Jor. I spelled Jorhas. Like, <laughs> what are you? Oh, there's the chair, everyone. <laughs> it's a pretty fast chair. If you couldn't tell already. You're coming in here to just show off your chair. My chair looks similar, but it's black. So, like, it's a lot slower. Which is unfortunate. Magnolia. Maybe that's our name, Magnolia. Poppy. That's also cute. That's cute, too! I like Poppy. Am I dropping a lot of frames? How's the stream? Looks like I'm dropping frames. Poppy. That's cute. I'm, t I'm officially decreeing that this tiny folk's name is Poppy and they... So they moved. Why did we decide to move? Uh... Got it. Like, is it gonna be something standard, like got a new job, or is it gonna be something dramatic, like, you know, there was a big rain and it washed away our old house down the gutter, like the itsy bitsy spider. We were warned, but you know, spider told us, but you didn't listen, and. Oh, what are you gonna do? What is one thing? What one thing did you bring with you? I think it should be not a tragic reason to move. I think it should be a looking for new adventures and new reasons to grow. And maybe we brought along. Um, has holes in the back for aerodynamics yeah don't most chairs do like those are forget about what you think about a normal gamer chair looks like this is a real gamer chair you can really actually speed run wait why are these why are these these middle lines not dotted Aren't these rocks not- are these rocks all connected? What is the vision? Uh, let's see. Game page. I see. I see the vision. So we're gonna straight up cut these out. Well, would it be easier if they were no, we're gonna put I am gonna bring along look, I'm really into gardening lately, so I think the one thing that we brought with us that Poppy brought with us is their trusty watering can. I will draw it. These are pretty good rock drawings. Okay, well we'll continue with this in a moment. I will... What, oh, we can see what our- Oh, look at there's a green thumb in the option. Look, it, it fits the vibe of all these sorts of things. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, what is our special skill or what is Poppy's special skill? Four, rock climber. <sighs> you can climb well and are not afraid of heights. Oh, I like pockets. Oh, I like all of these other ones too. 
Oh my gosh, I have lots of jars. Maybe I should make a bunch of these. <laughs> I know there are actually some rocks outside. Actually, I also just finished a jar of peanut butter <laughs> that I could maybe use. I have been using these jars for actual things like making kimchi and other exciting kitchen projects. Is peanut butter a soup base? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I made kimchi twice now and it's turned out pretty good both times and I was very impressed. Like I did not, um, oops. I didn't expect it to work out that well, to be honest. Um, I don't know, like I don't know what I expected, but I've never done anything like that before. Are you making a fart joke, Pears? <laughs> uh, because I'm, it's, <laughs> I don't know what that. I don't feel like I really smell it because it's locked away in the it's locked away in the jar, right? Or maybe it does. I don't know that I like explicitly smelled it that much. That sounds delicious, Smelty. What noise does it make? <laughs> does it? It makes more of a bubbling noise, actually. Delicious bubbling noise. Oh, the knock knock. Somebody's at the door of our tiny house. Well, okay, so we're rock climber. Well, I'm gonna retract my previous comment that I brought along my trusty watering can because if we're a rock climber, I think we're gonna bring along our best pair of boots. If that's the one thing that we can bring from our previous house. Seems like it's pretty, uh, pretty solid idea. Garlic dill hummus, that sounds really but I also I've been meaning to make hummus for like three weeks and I just haven't done it because apparently that's too hard. But because it's not that hard though, it's just hard to like get the momentum to go and do it in the kitchen. So you just take a bunch of chickpeas and blend them together with some tahini, and it surprisingly just is hummus. Who would have known? I like hummus very much, though. What other baking excursions have I done? I made some chocolate zucchini bread. That was very good. And I, oh, I didn't buy Nutella. I was thinking, oh, well, I don't have a nut muffin tin yet. I wanted to make some muffins. I want to make banana bread, banana bread. It's a tar bread for hummus. Hmm. Can you buy, like, I've never seen the tar in like an actual spice blend anywhere. And I like looked in the international aisle too, because I had a different recipe. I think it was a shakshuka recipe that called for that, and I'd never heard it before. And I looked it up and ended up just making it myself by like guessing a blend of like uh, the spices that were in it. Turkish supermarkets. Hummus. You have five kinds of hummus? Wow, that's a lot of kinds. Maybe I should go... I wasn't sure what kind of spice it was.
It's a tar of red. Cooking things is good. Cooking takes lots of energy, but it's really fun to make things that are delicious then, and then you eat them, and you think about how you cook them all. It's really fun. Also, hi, Azumaki. Welcome. If I made my own hummus, I have the ability to make it customizable. Dill. I don't think I have dill. I saw it in the plant section though, and I didn't buy it because I am on a limit of don't buy every single plant you see, Chris. <laughs> You're a baby gardener and you need to pace yourself. My plants are growing, but I've never gardened before. Well, that's not true, but it feels true. Like, one time I was gifted a tomato plant and it grew tomatoes and I didn't eat them because I don't like tomatoes. And I, we used to have raspberry bushes in my parents' house like when I was little, but they were on the side where they like didn't get much water, didn't get much sun. And there's like a big tree that kind of drink away all their power so they produced like you know four berries a season and it wasn't very great but it was really exciting to pick the raspberries fresh um what else have i gardened last year i tried to grow tulips and one of the bulbs sprouted but then it just died so i don't really know although i think the problem was i was reading that you were supposed to plant those in like the fall and let them be cold in the ground for the winter but I was again just given some tulip bulbs in the spring and they just didn't really I mean I was like well I'll plant this and see what happens you have garlic garlic dill original red pepper cilantro jalapeno Aldi at a grocery store You know Aldi? Well, it looks, sounds like it's a popular place then. Sherbert Aldi. I'm gonna get my other pen out. Sherbert. Sherbert. Orange Sherbert. No. Rainbow Sherbert? That sounds suspicious. Beetroot hummus. Interesting. I planted some beets and some carrots in the garden outside and hopefully they will grow. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having a fabulous time. So that's my status on gardening. Beetroot falafel. Is beetroot different than just like beet? Or. <sighs> I'm gonna just go and follow my dreams and just draw this without thinking too much about it. Beetroot is more British. Let's see, what is a beetroot? The beetroot is the tap root part of the beet plant. Usually known in Canada and the US as the as beets. Oh I see. Okay, so they're all the same thing. Here. You're right, yeah, that's the British word.
Canadian dialect. Oh, I watched that video, like accents and stuff. Talk to me about Canadian accents. I love hearing about those kinds of things. New kind of blue found in cabbage. Interesting. Is it from like red cabbage? The way like if you leave red cabbage, um, uh, or if to avoid red cabbage getting too blue, then you put like lemon juice or something in it. I'm, I don't, I'm unsure. On that one. How do you even draw shoes? I don't know. Does anybody come here for art? No. <laughs> That's actually not true. I think everybody did come here for art. This doesn't look like a shoe, does it? Hi, Axies, welcome. A cabbage peach indicator. Okay, well, these are my boots. They are very special. And that's why they're the one thing that we brought. Poppy's boots. I'm a tiny person, so my feet are like a, a tiny folk, I mean, my feet are a little bit different. Fantastic. Close enough. That's what we're going for. We want the front of a boot. These are my trusty hiking boots. Do the boots have spot for your toes? Yeah. That's what we get. I'm gonna cut them out. Like the Brocks. <laughs> Weird perspective, but we have perspective. shoes like are they gonna be like oh, I don't like toe shoes they make me uncomfortable I, I just don't like them okay so we are a rock climber you can climb well and are not afraid of heights so that's good all right let's rock not every rock is made equal. Roll a d6 or pick a prime rock location to search for a nice rock to add to your home. Well, we'll pick a prime rock location like this. Interactive dice rolling. Two, the pond. A prime rock location. Okay. Well, which rock is gonna be a prime rock? Let's spread these out so we can actually my boots. This one seems well. This one's got a nice flower too. Now, who lives here? 
You meet a new neighbor at this location. Your new neighbor would like some help with something. Roll a d6 or pick from help a neighbor. Okay, well, all of these are great. Five. <gasps> a frog is feeling lonely. That, right? We're at the pond. We have a frog feeling lonely. That's perfect. Um. What are they like? What kind of frog is it? Four. Chatty. A lonely, well, that's why the frog is lonely, because they're so chatty. A lonely, a frog is feeling lonely, they are very chatty. Something blocks your path. What is gonna block our path? Two, a spider's web. Oh, that's scary. So how do you help your neighbor? How do you solve the complication? Um, did your special skill help? Congratulations, you found a nice rock, discovered a new part of the garden and met a neighbor. So add a rock to your home. Oh, we are gonna make a map. I just need um, some paper. Oh my good paper, I'll just get a paper. So, we, well, I mean, I think the best way we encounter a frog that's feeling lonely, which I think is, this is the printed instructions. I think this frog is looking lonely. He's kind of small here, but we are also small. I'm gonna cut this frog out because I'm gonna add into the, I'm gonna add into the, a jar. So we can just really help this frog by talking to the frog because the frog's really chatty and just wants somebody to talk about talk to and we can learn some fun facts about the pond um, which is where the frog lives but there's not like a lot of visitors lately so the frog was feeling lonely of course Maybe we could even like, I don't think I have any like nice light. Um, where's my blending thing? Or maybe I should use like, pencil? Maybe we'll just leave them all black and white. So, well, should we draw ourselves then? My boots are far too big for me then, if this is me. This is the relative size. I might need to go down in size with my pen. Add rock. Okay, so we're gonna note down the location. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have the pond. I don't know how big we're gonna make this, but we'll just have the pond here. The pond. 
You tried the headless game and your minor lost his courage and you lost around six. Oh, that's well, that's fun that you're playing all these games too. I like to I like to hear about it. I saw you posted your um, was it one day at a time in in, the, in my Discord, but I didn't have a chance to read it through, so I didn't say anything yet. But I, I'm gonna, which is that's fun. I like it. The minor was one of the other two that I didn't play, right? I think. I don't really remember um, it very much. It seemed like some, you know, there was a few of those that would be like quite hard to, um, quite hard to win. And then the other ones were like relatively easier with their base stats. Color in the pond here. And there's a nice frog. I think we should invite the frog on our journey to explore like the neighborhoods and stuff. Since so we're gonna keep exploring. Um and so wait, we never addressed the obstacle, which is a spider web. And like seven silence, so he's pretty chill for a nervous guy. Nice. So something blocks your path. <laughs> a sleeping hedgehog. Well, I mean, perhaps if we are that tiny, we cannot pass. I'll draw a little spider web. Will I? I don't really know. Probably mess up. Can I even draw a spider web? Like that. Well, my first thought was the frog would eat the spider to help us, but maybe spider is a friend. Frogs eat like flies and stuff, right? And we could talk to the spider, maybe. It's just a spider's web. of maps I'm gonna I got oh I'm excited there's a Kickstarter that's now over for amending I don't know if I've talked on stream about this or not the game's called amending an embroidery based game where you have uh, you have a map that you create with like a journey um, with your well you draw cards and you have a little journey through. I don't really know too much specifics other than it's embroidery based and it sounds really cool and I'm so excited. I'm, I like, I just really love the whole physical part of the game. I saw some of the goodies that are gonna come along with like the backing, um, you know, that's got like this nice bag that's gonna hold all the things and I'm planning on like using that to my embroidery stuff in there the just the game developer and designer is like really into like creating things that are like going to oh am I here I might be uh, maybe now is not a great time for internet that's just the evening um, for like having re purposeable you know like not just like, oh, I'm done, I'm move, throwing it out. Like, you can wear this, it's like on a bandana, like fabric piece, I am really excited. And that's what writing this out and gonna draw a map and all that stuff has made me think of. Um, I'm gonna draw this frog here. This cute little guy. This frog is happy now because we're we're bringing the frog on our adventure. Uh. 
Happy Frog. Our what, what's our friend Frog's name? Uh, what's a good name for a frog? Oh, your feet are a little bit large. I didn't mean. I will put shading on my frog. You probably won't even see this on the stream, actually, because this is such a light gray. Maybe? Slime. Slime. I think you need rosy, actual rosy pink cheeks, though. So this is our map, and this is our... That's a friend frog. So we've conquered, I mean, I feel like we could also conquer the spider web by our climbing ability. Because we can um, climb well. We could probably climb up and around the spider web, um, you know, maybe even reach up the tops and like detach it to like clear the path if there was like leftover flies in the web I'm sure slime would help us out by eating some of them and we find a nice rock at this location I kind of want to just like redraw this rock here because this is the one we found here and then we'll put it in the in the jar which is our house Have them all be in a similar place. I like, I might do this again with real rocks. I went to the beach the other day, two days ago, maybe. I haven't been to like a beach in a long time. And they didn't forgot there's so many shells that are like beaches. Maybe they're not at all beaches, but at this one there were so many shells that I got. And they were like bright purple colored and it's really gorgeous. That's something I'm not really, you know, I'm not really seeing much of shells. Like usually when I'm going in nature stuff, it's like hikes in like mountainous areas or forest or that sort of thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with the shells, but I have them now. It was quite cold. I didn't expect that, which I mean, it makes sense because it's still April, but everything here has been so much, you know, warmer and greener than anything I've ever lived in at this time of year, and so it really feels confusing to me. Like, oh, it, it's hot out. Maybe it's not, though. Is this jar dry? Smells like kimchi. <laughs> well, I'm going to put the rock in here. Maybe we can like position it, you know? Oh crap. Maybe it feels like appropriate that I put on Hollow Knight soundtrack, even though. Uh, not even though. Even though some of it's dramatic, and we're not really doing that much dramaticness. But, you know, 
We are tiny people with a tiny frog and tiny rocks and tiny home. They're all gonna fall over. They are good bugs and we are little, we are both the size of bugs. I just want you guys to stand up. Okay. There must be a technique. Or this jar is too big. That's the other thing. <laughs> but I don't have a jam jar, I don't think. I think I, the only jam jar I have is still full of jam. We'll just leave it. We'll leave it. Well, that's why we're redrawing them here. I'm gonna draw smaller shoes in the corner here. Maybe I will look up a reference so that I like it more. Tiny. Small shoes. Apple butter chow chow. Wow, salsa. That sounds amazing. Apple butter, did you make that or is that a thing you buy? I pick shoes is what I was gonna bring because shoes are like hard to draw. There. Because it fit with my character. Alright, Casabelle. Take care. See you. Thanks for stopping by. We bought them at a local gift shop. That should be an exclamation mark because I'm very enthusiastic about my trusty hiking boots. So I think let's put the boots in here. Home is looking cozy. Probably. Oops. <laughs> it would probably work better, you know, if we had real rocks. That's okay. Next place. Yes. Uh, yeah, um, we're gonna keep going. Uh, wait, so what did you learn about this part of the neighborhood? Uh, we learned it's beautiful. And that's where Slime lives. And we like Slime a lot because they're our good friend. And uh, we're going to be visiting absolutely again. And uh, because, you know, otherwise Slime will be lonely again and we're back to square one. So uh, it was... We're, we're good. We're best friends now. With our neighbor. And uh, did they give you something special to thank you for their help? Hi, Speed Frog. Look it. We're not putting these in the jar till the end. <laughs> Look at this is slime. A, a lonely frog who is a chatty personality that we helped stop being lonely by becoming good friends. And this is the pond where slime lives with the spider. In way. Oops. Oh wait, we we named the frog slime. I don't remember if I said that. 
Or what if we just did it like this? This is gonna be the whole movies. Climbs rock. No hiking shoes. Okay, now... Okay, what did Slime give us as thank you? Hmm. What would a frog give as a thank you gift? For stopping you from being lone- them from being lone. Um... What other things do frogs do? Eat flies, yeah. What about like a tangible... Like a lily pad. Frogs sit on lily pads. A nice lily flower. Something like, I don't know. There's the lily. That's the lily of the pad. Lily of the pad. These look like they have, that's kind of offset. Well, Whatever. We don't know how to draw anything here. So instead we follow the dreams. There. <laughs> My new Condor News jingle. I, I just, you know, I just came to me. I just had to, you know, he let ask me, sing some news, and I did. <laughs> I'm glad everybody liked it. Whenever we put Rat Jam in the chat, that made me feel good. Okay, so here's our lily pad gift. I didn't even listen back to it until later. I feel like the news does need like a da 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 like an ending like da 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 needs to be decisively over I like this song Crystal Peak I'm not biased or anything you know good peak Here's our lily pad Maybe we'll draw a little lily pad on the pond here. If it's blue, I'll just draw it like this. Wow, I really like this. The pond. I need to like highlight these. Is this a bad green? Yeah. Something like enough to differentiate the. Um... I should have written this larger, but I just ended up drawing way more stuff than I anticipated. Maybe I'll just box it.
But this is a map of the neighborhood. I probably should have my little house on here too. We'll kind of go as we see it as we go. So next, let's find the next uh, prime location. Um, I mean, well, if it's a two, we'll just re-roll because we're gonna not do all of these. Like we're not gonna do duplicates, but just to help pick. The rockery, ooh. Oh, we're not gonna put that away. Let's just get all of these. Friends. So we're gonna go to the rockery. It sounds like there's lots of rocks there. Our new neighbor is a snail wants to jazz up their shell. Great, that's great. What kind of snail? Optimistic. Our complication is a puddle. Is that truly a complication? We're not sure. Okay, well, there's no pre drawn snail. So I think we'll draw a snail. Oh, we can draw a jazzed up snail shell. Could be relative size as, uh, I don't have enough, oops. Roughly the same size as slime. That looks pretty good shell. And snail. Okay, snail. What kind of snail? What was the snail's head? Got like antenna thingies. I don't know what these are called. Feelers? Are those like the snail's eyes? Maybe. I don't even really know anything about snail. I think they probably had more of a tail. The snail's a little bit lopsidey, but it's fine. It's just like up looking. This snail is gonna have a face though. Optimistic snail. Looked, end up looking a little bit eviler than I anticipate. Just be happy, Snail.
something on your shelves now. Oh, I guess we're gonna jazz it up anyways, so, you know. That's fine, I'm sure. Like, I was going for similar circle eyes as slime, but I feel like this is kind of like just darkness looking into your soul. Maybe we gotta put some, like, cute little, like, uh, like a little white prickly. I gotta wait for my inks to dry. Slimy buddies, yeah. Well, they could be Fred's too, because we decided that slime is gonna come along with us. I think I may have made it worse. These pens are like not that great. And I got them because like bullet journal people were like, yeah, these are the, these are great for drawing white stuff. I think my number one. And I don't agree. <laughs> How are we gonna jazz up this the snail shell? We could put. Oh, I should have thought of this ahead of time. Well, we could just d draw it on top and glue it on. Maybe that glue on. I must. I guess my glue. We could have a like a lily shell or a lily flower. I don't think I well maybe I could use my skill because we're in the rockery and I could climb really high to get something that could be used to decorate a snail shell. What's a snail's name? Um, we'll put slime back in here. probably color it this way for the grain of the shell. I don't want it to be too dark. looks really nice. Is 
how do we draw slime on the map? We gotta draw the rockery. The rockery is, I bet you it's like a big rock like this. It's gonna be over here. Oh, I could just do this. Is this cheating? Yes, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Some more rocks to this rockery because what kind of rockery is it if it's just got one? There's like medium sized rocks. That's like doesn't make sense, but whatever. I drew it and it exists, so that's that. I keep thinking, what if we got, like, another shell on the, sh the shell? Would that... I don't know, is there going to be, like, interesting rocks down here? Optimistic. Well, the snail was optimistic that we would get things moving with the shell. This is the rock that we got here. Simon, that's the snail's name. These are just S names. Just retrace my snail that I already drew for consistency. Which is amazing. I inadvertently glue it because I've got glue stuck or something. This uh, lily's looking a little bit different now. That's all. Shell's a little bit shorter on this second version. My body's a little bit wider. That's okay.
I'm going to spice up your shell periodically. So I think ink, we're going to come back to the rock root periodically to help out. Um, Simon. And get, like, you know, spice up Simon's shell. And the snail. There. What was the obstacle we encountered? A puddle. Uh, maybe, like, I got stuck in the... The puddle. Is it unfortunate? I don't know, but I decree it is. <laughs> Do slimes, and by slimes I mean snails, like puddles? I feel like they do, but I don't know. Like, when they go to these snails, like. Why does the first Google complete say do snails have teeth? Do snails like water? No, not all snails like water. Maybe this is a land snail. So many open tabs that I was learning about. Yeah, or maybe the snail thinks the water is salty, but it's not. We'll drop potential salts in it. These pen socks. Did I put the, no, this was the rock that I had. There's only one rock in here. How does the snail thank us for helping them? What kind of things do snail gives us a shell? One of this one of Simon's old homes. could do that for real. You know what? I'll be right back. Here's one of the shells that I got. I like it because it's so smooth. And the lightning sucks. <laughs> I gotta get like one of those fancy lights. I don't have light production. Someday. I'll have a whole studio stream. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna draw a shell anyways. shell. That's why I slime upgraded because this one was kind of boring to them. We'll just go around the puddle. That's how we solve the problem. friends there okay we'll go somewhere else next we've got some more walks well got at least a few more I want to draw the whole map well I want to draw my house too We'll go to one more place and then I will draw my house and then we'll see what best fits. Um, the swing set. Oh, okay. Who lives here? Where are we rolling? Are we rolling? A robin would like something soft for their nest. Nice. Okay, robin. Bookish robin. Okay. A bookish robin wants something to soften their nest up at the, the swing set. And our complication is a sleeping hedgehog. So like... I just full on committed to that. Oh, well, that could be it. You're right, right. Oh, yes. We need to gently awaken this sleeping hedgehog. Be a nice soft blanket. Oh, I really like the idea of like doing all of this. You could get a little scrap of cloth and like add it to your jar. I need to figure out how to get, how do you press flowers? Maybe I'll press a flower for my snail shell. A swing set. How do we gently awaken a sleeping hedgehog? Oh my god, I did not line this up at all! I shouldn't have started like that! Look, it's kind of like a... squeaky. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just start at the bottom this time. It's windy, you know? It's windy. So swing set might suggest that there's more than one swing, but I just drew this very large, so that's that's what we get. Oh, 
Well, we have really met a lot of friends at this uh, entire this the swing set. The Robin. I'll draw on here. Oops. Look. Making a nest on the swing set. Robins are red, I think. Oh, they have little tiny beak. Oh, maybe I should have looked that up. These guys are cute. There's some gray down here. You really have learned about like a all around. What's a robin's name? Robin? Is that two on the nose? Very good bird. Yes, what? I'm Robin. Robin with a Y. Not too on the beak. Ah, yes, you're right. Let's redraw Robin. I feel bad that I didn't color slime. I just thought it might be too much with like my green is very green. Actually, this green is not that green, is it? We dare. I think I dare.
And what color do you two? I'll color on this scrap paper. Oh, you're so sad. This is when he was lonely. Oh man, this song. This is when I have, like, <laughs> when you hear this over and over and over again because I was trying to grind being the Radiance, which I never beat. The final boss song when you read them. <laughs> over and over again. There, green sign. I don't like to focus that. I need to put the red on this, which I think I'm gonna swap actually to this red. Orangey red. Interesting feet. That's okay. I think all of our friends are our friends now. Oh, bookish Robin, I forgot. To... So that will be our reward. Robin will give us a copy of their favorite book. I don't know what it is, but we've gotten a copy of it. I will draw a book. It's a wide book. Uh, it's called How do we wake the hedgehog to get the soft blanket for the robin's nest? Hmm. I will have a... Alright, it's a pillow.
kind of a lumpy pillow. I think we can recruit our other friends to help. I decree it because we're friends with everyone else. Yeah, maybe they would just croak. But it would be kind of like a nice morning croak. Slime can do some nice croaks. You know, I don't want to startle the hedgehog too much. set needs some sort of rear support I think oh my god I can't draw straight lines I'm gonna draw the awake hedgehog. How do you draw a hedgehog? Oh, these are cute. Hedgehogs are cute. Huh. I'm gonna draw. I think the hedgehog's name is Harriet. I've just decided that. It just came to me. Sorry, I'm not taking any other suggestions at this time. It's ending up being very large. But maybe that is the point. Look, this bird is, would be bigger. There's another thing in, on this map is to scale, because when are maps ever to scale? It's, I don't know. Never. This is an artistic map. Do like this. What did I just say, Harriet? Your stack of books, your mug of tea, your glasses, your journal book. That sounds very comfy. I'm Harriet. Now Harriet is awake. Harriet likes a soft pillow because of her um, spikes? Or quills, I mean. But she's okay with letting Robin use it too for her nest because she has like some extras. So at the end of the album, we listened to the whole thing? We did. Now what else?
I think I will just color this in a little bit. Oh, well, you couldn't even see that, could you? I'm always gonna be like drawing off stream because I keep like pulling it to myself because this is quite offset from like where everything else is over here. You got a behind the scenes peek just then. There should be, there's like sidewalk here. Right underneath the swing set? Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's why Harriet needed the pillow also. based on anything like light no it's based on where my hand goes oh i didn't draw a rock here well it can be like in the background so what rock goes at the swing set uh i like this one Got some moss on it too. I'll put it a little bit in green. Yeah, that flower is green too. They're all mixed together. There's some like at the bottom of the rock too. All right. 
So we went to the swing set. Oh wait, I didn't write. I didn't write these. All these other ones here. Um, home of there. There. Um, where are you, an optimistic snail? is home of a bookish robin. drawn my trusty hiking boots at my house. This is my neighborhood map. Ah, uh, what do I look like? I need to look cute and little. Like... Oh god, this is so much pressure. I'm putting it all on my shelf. I'm gonna doodle a little and pencil. Like, I'm feeling like I have a big sloppy head. And curly head. And do I have I my head a little bit smaller? And my body is like this. I have a little waving. And look like a little. And I have the boots. enough that I'm just gonna go for it. Maybe I shouldn't have drawn the actual spirally curls, but you know. Whatever. I have little pudgy hands like Animal Crossing people. like overalls in, in a dress. Dress or alls, is that a thing?
Oh, I should have raced first. Maybe? I want to smudge my... I'll just be a blue dress. It looks like I'm not wearing pants, but it's supposed to be a dress. That's all. I guess my leg needs to go in the front of this. really good at climbing. Where do I live? Maybe we should just... Well, if these are prime rock locations... Well, you know, no. This is a map of my neighborhood. I'm gonna have to go to one more place. I want one more rock that we'll draw down here. We'll meet one more friend! Lastly... Uh, we already went two, so it's one or two or three. greenhouse you know can I like just pick I kind of want to pick the vegetable patch I changed my mind wait not one or two or three it's one or two or five sorry one or three or five I picked the vegetable patch though and we're gonna see who we get oh my god that wasn't we already got the robin we already got the frog we already got the six a bee needs some sugar water. Okay, we're gonna do that at the vegetable patch. Um, let's see. Vegetable patch is like, uh, You have like rows of things that are growing. Like stock 
legs that are growing with like maybe these are beans growing. This I don't know. They have leaves probably. I'll color the leaves green. Maybe for clarity. Like I said, the scale on this is all over the place. That's how big I am and that's how big these, maybe there's just babies growing, you know, like my plants. I can even show everybody. Maybe I'll show that at the end. Once I finish drawing this special patch. Um. And so what's in, what kind of bee is this? Excitable work tracks. That's all this is. I'm gonna put this rock. We'll pick one of those small ones, maybe. Ah. Beatrice, I accept that such a suggestion. I'm gonna draw a bee. Big enough to like know what she looks like. make this crown a bit more like orange. Queen Beatrice. How many legs do bees have? Six? Take this one with this flower. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I guess I could have made this more vibrant with like different colors, but we're just gonna say they haven't finished growing yet. Uh, 
I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna commit to it though, because I started. <laughs> I'll just draw this as like. Uh, I need to write here. Oh, uh, the excitable B. Um, did I find an obstacle? I don't think I did. What's our complication? A piece of litter. Ah. That's horrible, actually. Um, how do we get around the piece of litter? We need sugar water. Well, we could probably go to the pond and get some water. Can we borrow the honey from the bee? Or some rain water. I don't want to draw a piece of litter on my lovely map. <laughs> but if we're gonna accurately, you know, document the neighborhood, I suppose we could clean it up, you know? Just there's so many other possible Litter, bad for the environment, bad for the bees, and we must protect the bees. Is it because the bee flew away too far? And so she's really like thirsty and needs have, like some energy to get back to her hive. So we can like maybe talk to the other bees and get some water from the pond and with the help of my friends, bring them back to Beatrice and she will drink up and feel better. And in thanks she would give us some honey. What if we set a fallen plant pot instead? What is bad? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take cre creative liberty, Chris Liberty. I'm gonna cut it out of this because there is a sample one on here. We're not collecting that in our house, but we'll add it to the map. Or maybe we will collect it in the house. Should I just redraw it? Yeah. Maybe spilled like right there. Identify this. Uh, no, 
longer. Sleeping. Hedgehog. Where did I just put my pen? There it is. Everything has an exclamation mark. Because we're only excited. This is just kind of awkwardly lined up, but that's okay. I gotta color these rocks a little bit. some more rocks to the rockery. We can just, you know, give it a little bit more identifiers on this map. Oh, I like this so much. started with an idea and the pond is a little bit small but you know it's okay you know there's space here might be all right in here Like everything's an exclamation mark, I said. Times. Um, 
I think our tiny home. These are all the things that we put in our home. Oh, I need to draw some honey. That's the last thing I'm gonna draw. A little jar. That's what the bee will give us. As like a thank you for um, helping me help her out. We didn't really put them in the jar itself because I think my jar is too big. Oh, you know what would be nice? Those like really shallow jars. Like, I feel like I've gotten them from friends for Christmas with like their homemade honey and stuff in them. Or jams or whatever else. Okay. It's our present. Oh, I should color this. We're not done. Ah, you thought we were done. <laughs> I gotta get spruce this thing up a little. I think we're looking really crazy. With all of these things in my pile. I'll just keep these safe. There's more rocks. Wait, did I miss a rock? There are six rocks, okay? One, two, six. One, two, three, four. Oh, you didn't use this one. Maybe I'm just crazy. One, two, three, four. Oh, there was just more of the rocks than I thought. We got a bird book. And we got a lily pad and we got some honey and we got a shell from our all of our friends slime simon robin harriet and beatrice and poppy here we are i also go into the house along with my boots all of the great rocks that we got. One, two, three. Shoot, wait, we're in the fourth rock. Oh. <laughs> I just counted them all up. Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four. Our four rocks. Oh, I didn't draw that. And our friends. One, two, three. I'm gonna draw Beatrice. I don't want to end until we're not wrapping up this game until we have everything we need. Oh, I didn't draw wings there. I'm sorry, Beatrice. Draw some black stripes. And then some orange on the um where's my orange?
Beatrice and our friend Kyle. Now we have everyone, so the end. Our time at home is looking cozy. We can settle down for the day. We've explored a lot of our neighborhood. We're gonna have a hot drink. Let's make ourselves a hot drink. Sit down and relax. And think about all the adventures we had and will have in our new neighborhood here. I don't think I have a good mint. You know, I feel like this mug would be mint. Maybe we'll make it a combination blue and green. Wow, that turned out bright. Wow, interesting. I mean, these are like those be watercolor markers, so you can like blend them or something. Uh, I've just never really done any of it. I have like a somewhere. I think it's in my art box, like a plastic thing that you can like blend on. I feel like Poppy might have some like hot cocoa. Marshmallows in there. After a long day of adventures. Okay, look at all of these fun things. I'll draw these. I'm gonna color in my boot. The end. This home, this game was called Tiny Home Terrarium. It was really fun. We didn't quite make a physical terrarium. I'm sure that would be more fun to collect cool rocks on a walk and do that. Maybe I will. At a different point. Wow, we did that for like Two and a half hours, two hours and 15 minutes. That's a lot of uh, drawing. I had a lot of fun with that though. More actual physical um, making crap crafts instead of just the talking. Which is also good, but you know, we're, we're changing it up. This one is in a, a cozy, what was it called? Cozy TTRPG bundle. Okay. Yeah, it's only a dollar if you wanted to also have the uh, cute little printouts and drawings and things. <sighs> Honestly, I think I might just wrap it up there because it's been a long day and I was tired earlier. We played a lot of, uh, a lot of game. A lot of one game. <laughs> but, uh, I will be back again next week. Same, well, not same time as today. Same time as the usual time, hopefully. Um... Yeah, thanks everybody for um, hanging out. And uh, building our little neighborhood together. That turned out so cute. I'm, I'm so pleased. Uh, but yeah, have a good rest of your weekend, everybody. Have a good um, I don't know, Sunday. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.